For over a decade, LifeCompare has and continues to revolutionize how companies manage their SAP lifecycle. Supporting many scenarios, this intelligent software automates the analysis of change and clearly identifies impact on business critical functionality. In this webcast, we'll focus on LiveCompare's Enhancement Pack Analysis Deliverables. Think of Enhancement Packs as containers of business functions, and each pack is cumulative, which means Enhancement Pack 5 has over 500 business functions available. When activated, the objects within the Switch Framework packages come to life. So the question is, where should we focus our testing? In other words, wouldn't it be nice to know our used transactions and programs that invoke these objects? Let's start by discussing the three steps that answer our most critical questions, from which business functions to consider, to ultimately which executable should be tested. In step one, we'll discover which business functions are relevant based on production usage. In two, we'll identify the enhancement objects related to the business functions. In the final step, we'll highlight impacted functionality that should be considered for testing. Here's a sample of performance history data that's retrieved in step one where we find relevant business functions. This is achieved with LiveCompare's workflow technology, where an RFC to production parameter drives the get performance history data action, producing the above data set, listing used transactions and programs. This data set then drives other actions which find relevant business functions. Let's take a closer look at the subset of STO3 data. Here we can see some used financial accounting transactions, as well as the T-codes related to the oil and gas industry solution. And here are the business functions discovered by LiveCompare based on this subset. Okay, let's log on to LiveCompare and take a look at the workflows that support the analysis of enhancement packs. And here's our first one, find business functions from performance history. Before I run the workflow, I'll just right click on the RFC parameter and I'll select my production system. Click OK and run. The first action retrieved over 1400 used executables and the following actions work to match them to the business functions. And here are the results. Three financial accounting business functions and two from IS Oil. With the five business functions found in step one, we'll next identify the related switch IDs and packages containing the enhancement objects that we're concerned with. And in this example, there are over 1,100. Now, not all of these will be invoked by our use transactions but this list will be used in our last step when we perform the impact analysis. In Live Compare, select the second workflow, Business Function Expansion. Right-click on the RFC parameter, choose a system, Then I'll verify the business function selection parameter, and all five are listed here. Click OK and run. The workflow then identifies all of the objects related to the selected business functions. These business functions contain over 1,100 objects. The final step achieves the deliverable we've all been waiting for, a complete impact analysis of our enhancement pack project. Let's review the summary first. I see we're using over 1,000 standard transactions and over 400 custom for a total of 1,455. Now if we were to do a full regression test, this would take a lot of time. But why test everything when you don't have to? I can see here only 397 of the 1,455 executables are impacted. And with LiveCompare's intelligent filtering, it further refines our scope by selecting key executables to test based on usage volume and how these objects are being invoked by our used transactions. Now you can drill down into any of these categories and view the details. Let's take a look at three of the 41 recommended transactions to test. FBO1, 
an FI transactions to post documents was used over 30,000 times, and it invokes the following financial accounting general ledger enhancement objects. VAO1 invokes a couple of the objects from the IS oil business functions, as well as the O3C1T code. All of these transactions should be tested. In Live Compare, select the third and final workflow, Business Function Impact Analysis. Choose the RFC system and run. The first action reads the results from the previous workflow, Business Function Expansion, and then analyzes their dependencies. The actions on the right retrieve and link in our performance history data. We can go ahead and log off Live Compare for now, and we'll receive an email when the analysis is complete. And here it is. Just click on the link and view the report. In summary, Live Compare has three workflows that help answer the most critical questions of your enhancement pack project. By analyzing performance history data, Live Compare can suggest business functions to consider. It then identifies the key objects contained within the business function packages, then performs an impact analysis, helping you avoid full regression testing and reducing the risk of activating functionality before testing it. I'd also like to mention other Live Compare workflows that our customers find helpful when implementing enhancement packs. There's often a level of support packs that need to be applied to support the enhancement pack project. We recommend running the support pack impact analysis workflow which provides details on what to test, as well as a summary to help scope the project. These enhancement pack implementations are considered mini upgrades, so you'll want to take a look at the 15 workflows we provide within our upgrade template, starting with impacted custom code, taking a deeper look at which dependencies of used custom code were impacted, as well as the impacted standard code workflow, which identifies key screen changes during the upgrade. For more information on Live Compare, please visit us at IntelliCorp.com.